Welcome to the Mint Report, our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. Industrial production shrinks in September. The rupee continues to take a beating and markets end Monday flat. The festive season was supposed to have provided a boost to the Indian economy. But new figures released on Monday indicate there's little reason to cheer. The index of industrial production dropped 0.4% in September. In contrast, the reverse figure for August is 2.3%. The slowdown in the IIP is seen as an indication that manufacturing continues to contract in India. And the dismal numbers don't end with trade. India's trade gap also continues to widen with its merchandise exports falling. Exports dropped 1.6% in October to $23.2 billion. Imports meanwhile climbed 7.4% to $44.2 billion. Those figures leave India with a trade deficit of close to $21 billion. Low demand abroad has fueled the shrinkage in India's exports. And the slowing numbers for production and exports may prompt some to call for a rate cut. But inflation numbers out on Monday indicate RBI may not consider one just yet. The consumer price index for October rose to 9.75%. The previous month it was a little lower at 9.73%. The poor economic data seems to have sapped confidence in India's growth story. On Monday, the rupee fell to a two-month low against the US dollar. The currency ended trade at 54.89 to the US dollar after falling as low as 55.12. And finally, Indian markets ended flat on Monday despite a rally in some shares. The Sensex closed 13 points lower at 18,670 and the Nifty finished trade at 5,683, a drop of 3 points. While markets didn't see much action during the day, one stock rallied strongly. Shares of United Spirits rocketed up 35% on the BSE in reaction to its take-sale deal with Diageo last week. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.